Hey guys, Jeff Howard here, and I want to do an unboxing of the new Ahi from Dreamflight. Uh, I've been really lucky to have uh, Michael send me one out, and I wanted to talk about it. I know there's other videos out there, but I want to describe to you uh, something that I like and, and what comes with the kit. Now, the Ahi, Ahi is the first um, that I've seen from Michael as a full aerobatic type aircraft, and when he posted all this stuff up, I could not wait to get one of these in my hands and do some videos on it and have some fun with this thing. And some of the videos out there are amazing what this little thing will do. The great thing is its size. You can easily put this in your car. It's very simple to carry with you. It's not a built up model where you have to worry about the abuse. It's a foam model with carbon reinforcements and everything else. But his designing is just phenomenal. Um, I've had a lot of models through my years and I love getting the stuff from him and putting it together and really enjoying the use of it. I use them nonstop. It's pretty crazy how much flight time. Now this is the Ahi and this is the full slope freestyle aerobatic type little aircraft and it's modeled after a few other ones that I've seen out there but nothing this size, perfect sizing, uh, to get out there and do the acro and not worry about it. Um, as you can see he does a fantastic job even just on the boxes themselves. It makes you want to save it. It's kind of like an iPhone case. Um, so once you open it up, I've removed all the bubble wrap. Everything comes wrapped in bubble wrap uh, to protect everything that's in here. And it's pretty much pre-built. I like this. He has this uh, ARG almost ready to glide. <laughs> it's a trademark. That's pretty cool. And it truly is. There's not a whole lot of work. I think the biggest thing for me is trying to figure out graphics that I want to put on it because I love to draw on it using permanent markers and, and do some neat stuff all over it. Anyway, so what comes, you've got your fuselage I'll talk about in a second. You've got your horizontal stabilizer, your vertical stabilizer, and then you have your left and right wings. Now, this looks like a semi, it's not fully uh, symmetrical, it's a semi-symmetrical type wing. Um, it has carbon reinforcements on the top and the bottom. It also has a carbon reinforcement on the ailerons, which keeps them from flexing when you're putting so much quick load into them. I, I could imagine you definitely need to have those. Those are already all installed. It's got all the sockets for the servos, um, already cutouts for the connectors where they connect in here. Now, the thing that I do different on my models uh, from Michael from Dreamflight is I install an 050 carbon rod right along the leading edge of my wings. And the reason is, is when you hit trees and bumps and uh, bushes or twigs or whatever it is, the foam starts to get uh, nicks and knocks into it, even catching it with your hand really hard sometimes. So I install an 050 carbon rod using foam CA on my leading edges. I have not done this one yet but I did do this one on this side. I'm so antsy to want to put this thing together. Here's my Liabel. I've had this for two years now, and I have carbon up here. I can't tell you everything that I've hit with it, and it just protects this uh, leading edge. So it's up to you if you want to uh, do that, put that on. Again, it's an 050 uh, carbon solid rod. You can put fiberglass there as well. It's not that big of a weight difference, but I will install those in mine. Anyway, everything on this model fits together really nice. It's got a magnet to hold the wings in if you do not want to glue them. Um, everything fits together. So I'm lucky to, uh, Michael sent me his full flight pack and I have all the servos. These look like metal, metal gear servos, definitely larger than uh, things that come with a Liabel. Probably a very quick action. I've got four um, and then I've got all little packets here with all the connectors. The push rods are already in here. Uh, these are like a fiberglass push rod, I can tell by the bending. You've got your spar. This goes in between the two wings to take all the load. That looks like about an 1800 or 1900, 1960 type carbon tube. Um, the battery, he sent me a little weight set so I can ballast it out. And that's what comes in the little kit. I believe you get your servos, your battery, and um, I've got an extra one, which is great. And then all the connectors. Now, the fuselage is really cool. Um, it's got the carbon top here, and it's all magnet uh, attachments. Has molded foam internally. It's not just a flimsy, flimsy little deal, uh, which I've seen on a lot of other models. This keeps it perfectly formed to fit really nice. Other thing about the foam is it already has plastic tubes installed. It's not just the rods pushing through the foam, 
these are actually inserted where you will have your elevator and your rudder rod push rods go into it already has the servo tray in here ready to rock little cutouts for wires or where they're going to go um, battery compartment it's got all kinds of weight compartments a ballast compartment right underneath the wing here but the way this stuff fits together is phenomenal i mean it's it's so clean that's it i mean it's on there the other thing is is he put the reinforcement a plastic reinforcement on the bottom of the fuselage here because you will be bumping this uh quite a bit if you're doing aerobatics and touching the ground or whatever it is and it would definitely make that foam yeah it'll make it look pretty and last a longer time you also have your horizontal stabilizer and your vertical stabilizer and the way that michael designs these are so clean all of this stuff pretty much just fits together and it's ready to go almost. Now, if you want to travel with your model, you're going to want to tape these instead of uh, glue them in. Um, if you're not going to travel with it and want to you know, make it smaller so you can travel somewhere with it, uh, you can adhere those in. They're going to be in there permanently. Um, again, all the connectors you can see, everything lines up real clean and real simple. It's going to be a, be a pleasure and uh, a quick assembly on this as well. But all in all, I am very pleased. I always am. Every time I get something from Michael and any of his gliders or any of his models, they're phenomenal. Uh, but you can see how clean everything puts together. I'm not putting the spar in there. But once it's all put together, you can see the size. It is about the same size as the Liabelle. What is that? 1.5, 1.2, somewhere in there. Just an easy, great size you can throw in the truck. I stick mine in the vehicle. Maybe I get to go and play on the slope uh, at lunchtime or after work or whatever it is. But that is pretty much the unboxing. Other than that, the model comes with all the manuals. And another little tip that I like to tell somebody, there's your sticker packet, is copy this. I take these things and I copy this picture multiple times on a copier and I can do all my artistic drawing of kind of an idea of what, my, what I want it to look like. Um, but this is a very good manual. It goes through all the little touches and little tiny things. It's not a you know a manual that you're going to be searching around trying to find what you're supposed to do. It's got all the measurements and how to make adjustments and stuff like that. It's fantastic. Anyway, uh, Jeff Howard there. I just wanted to show you the Ahi from Dreamflight. And I will be doing some other videos once I start putting things together. And I cannot wait to get this out and play with it. All the videos that are going up of guys flying, doing aerobatic stuff and flat spins and everything else just makes me so badly want to get out there. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, get your hands on one of these. You will not regret it, that's for sure. Later.